From a mining town to a railroad town to more recently a proposed pot town and now a potential circus town. Nipton is just over an hour drive from Las Vegas. The entire town was recently sold to make way for something a little unusual. Fox 5's Joe V. Hill traveled there to find out about its future and how someone purchases an entire town. Well, not far from the Nevada state line, about nine miles off I-15, sits a patch of green among the vast Mojave Desert. The most excitement we saw on our visit was one of a few trains rolling through. Or maybe an old crow that hid among the eucalyptus trees. This is paradise to me. Now, when you talk about the history of Nipton, population of about 20 people, you really have to include Jim Esslinger. They accused me of being the mayor of Nipton, you know. Uh, I'm going on 14 years out here. The long haul truck driver visited from Washington State with a friend several years ago and decided the quiet and peaceful place would be his forever home. I fell in love with it and just like the Hotel California, I checked in, but I can never leave. This is different stuff that she has found out in the desert walking around. Well, Jim showed us around the newly purchased town of Nipton, which includes some old rail cars, a one room schoolhouse and several pieces of art, some really big pieces of art. A gold miner staked the claim here in 1900. The town was born in 1909 with a newly constructed railroad and served as a cattle loading station. The town has been bought and sold several times over the years. Now the entertainment group Spiegel World is the new owner with big plans for the tiny town. We have this idea of a circus town. You heard that right. Spiegel World produces the Vegas acrobatic comedy show of Absinthe in tents outside Caesar's Palace. Ross Mollison says performers will come to Nipton to practice their craft, dream up new and exciting material for shows while letting the public in on the act. It will be an active operational circus town, but you'll be able to come and stay here and swim in the pond and go hiking in the Mojave National Preserve go and see the Joshua Tree, see all the fantastic desert attractions out here. So we wanted to know, how does one buy an entire town? We spoke with a former owner, Roxanne Lang, who sold to Spiegel World. She says it's a little different than just a land sale. When purchasing Nipton and 80 acres of land, Spiegel World took ownership of all the buildings. There are plans to reopen the general store and cafe, the hotel too. The owners will need to get a license and permits and abide by fire codes. The group would have to have a permit for the drinking water supply, which will include testing and treatment. And the owners will have to maintain the septic system. Alang told us if someone wants to buy a town, they need to be ready for repairs and joked they will have to have lots of money. We're upgrading all the facilities. We've got the water all working properly now and tested, so it's everything safe. We've got the solar panels all connected again, and that's working now. It's an enormous job. And if you look around, it is hard to find even one piece of trash. We've taken out 250 tons of garbage so far. Mollison says they would like to eventually have a festival here once a year putting up circus tents and having 10 or 20 shows for a week or so. Anyone wanting a little variety on their trip to Las Vegas could swing by for a day or two or longer. Have a delicious cocktail and a delicious meal and just go, wow, you know, I feel restored. Uh, you know, this is what I needed, a couple days in Nipton. And uh, maybe you come for a month and write your book, you know. I, you know My Life at Fox by Joe, written in Nipton, you know. So a revival is now underway, leaving the jewels already here in place, but with Spiegel World Flair. I'm really excited. I've had nightmares where basically this town is, is shut down and me and my wife are the last ones to turn off the lights of the town and leave. 
Well, Mollison says they didn't go into this for gambling, but they say they might bring the lottery back to the general store. Roxanne Lang says there were 10 or so offers to buy the town, but she likes Spiegel World and its all cash offer of more than two and a half million dollars. So when could things open? Mollison would only say when things are ready, they are taking their time to do this right.